Hey guys, Hackersploit here, back again with another video. And in this video, we are going to be looking at Canary tokens. Now, uh, some of you might be a little bit confused and some of you might network of the reason why I'm making this video is because a lot of uh, my subscribers that actually work as system uh, administrators and uh, network administrators or just in simple, uh, you know, just doing administration jobs where they essentially handle a large number of computers or a network of computers and are responsible for the um, uh, for maintaining and making sure that they're up to date, you know, running and everything is working. And also now uh, with the increased responsibility of security. All right. And uh, of course, once you uh, if you are a systems administrator, security isn't something uh, you you are taught in your training. Uh, well, of course, now there are reforms being made to the different training programs to essentially incorporate uh, a, a bit of security and also a bit of intelligence when it comes down to uh, when it comes down to network security and essentially um, you, you know intrusion detection and uh, a lot more in regards to actually protecting a network. As you probably would have guessed. Uh, you know, taking care of a network or keeping an, an a network of, uh, say, about 100 computers safe uh, can be a very, very difficult job because, uh, you know, there could be holes, uh, you know, everywhere or anywhere, really. Uh, however, as you probably know, the biggest weakness in a network is the, uh, is the user or the human being, for that matter, because human beings are prone to making really, really simple uh, mistakes that can, you know, in the end, jeopardize uh, an entire network or an entire organization. Now, let me explain. A very simple scenario, as you've seen with uh, over the last two years with the uh, numerous bank hacks and uh, organization hacks, uh, is the, the only way the attacker was able to get uh, access or, you know, to essentially um, to exploit a vulnerability, the vulnerability being, uh, you know, poor knowledge uh, by clients or, or by users, or, you know, poor security awareness is the correct word. Uh, and so essentially, uh, the attacks were carried out using phishing or, uh, you know, just sending a malicious file to the user via their email. And it's as simple as that. No real exploitation here of uh, system services, etc. And that's something that you'll come across in the real world. It's more about uh, training the people using the computers to identify potential security threats. Now, I've already rambled a bit too long. Many of you complain about that, but I really like explaining where I'm coming from before I actually get started. So uh, a lot of my systems admin friends actually asked me, well, what they, what I recommend, uh, you know, as a sort of um, honeypots or intrusion detection systems uh, that they can implement really, really easily and uh, robustly, you know, you know, just a quick implementation and it serves them, uh, you know, for uh, it, it serves them to whatever extent they need. Uh, and this is where Canary tokens come into play. Now, I knew about can canary, canary tokens for about two years now, and I use them myself, whether, you know, uh, whether they're doing a project for an organization or, you know, for your own personal security at home or on your cloud services, as we'll come to see. So essentially, uh, Canary token uh, is a service that is, again, here by Thinkst. Uh, and, uh, you know, it's a very, very simple site, as you probably would have guessed. And I'll explain what it is. So... Uh, if you just look at the site and um, you look at, just look at the bottom and you'll see uh, brought to you by Thinkst Canary, our insanely easy to use, to use honeypot solution that deploys in just four minutes. Know when it matters. All right. So quite simple. They, they really don't tell you anything. But of course, uh, the uh, the awesome company that they are, they do provide you with a little link here saying, what is this and why should I care? Well, if you look at that link, um, you'll see that uh, this essentially came about from a black hat talk in 2015 and uh, you can see right over here it will essentially give an introduction into uh, how canary tokens was formed and uh, all of that good stuff all right so you can see uh, it'll give you a bit of a premise here so it'll say you'll be familiar with web bugs the transparent images which track when someone opens an email they work by embedding a unique url in a page image tag and and uh, monitoring incoming get requests so essentially just monitoring the get requests and of course the get requests have a lot of information but that's besides the point here so imagine doing that but for for file reads database queries process executions patterns in log files bitcoin tr transactions etc etc all right so canary tokens does all of this and more letting you implant traps in your production systems rather than setting up separate honeypots for each system 
All right. So, and the, the, the greatest part is Canary Tokens is available for free at canarytokens.org or you can download and run your own installation. As you can see, you also have your Docker images right over here, or you can compile from source if that's the type of person you are. All right. And uh, why should you care? Why on earth would you care about Canary Tokens? Uh, this is why. Uh, network breaches happen from mega corps or mega corporations to governments from unsuspecting grandmas to well-known security pros. This is kind of ex excusable, you know, yeah, sure, of course. Uh, what isn't excusable is only finding about it months or years later. Ah, very interesting. So the premise here is that you might have been hacked, but you didn't even know about it. All right, so Canary Tokens are a free, quick, painless way to help defenders discover they've been breached by having attackers announce themselves into the system. Pretty much an intrusion detection system, or as they call it, a honeypot, because that's the whole uh, psychology behind uh, Canary Tokens. All right, so let me just speed through this so I can show you how to use it. So um, how tokens, uh, how the tokens work in three short steps. Visit the site and get a free token, which could look uh, like a URL or a host name, depending on your selection. We'll get to that. If an attacker ever uses the token somehow, we will give you an out-of-band email or SMS notification that it has been visit visited, therefore notifying you of the breach. Now, of course, you can customize this if you compile from source or you run it on Docker to give you the notifications however you want. You know, it could be an email, SMS, whatever you want. And as an added bonus, we give you a bunch of hints and tools that increase the likelihood of an attacker tripping on a canary token. All right. Now, of course, I'm not going to go through all of this right over here. Uh, I'll essentially give you uh, the, the whole premise to obtain a token. You visit the site Canary Tokens, enter your email address, and this is used to notify you when a token is triggered. Uh, and, uh, you know, whatever uh, Canary token you've placed, wherever you've placed it, when it's triggered, you'll get a notification or an email on your email and uh, you'll essentially know that a breach has been done. And I'll show you how to intelligently customize your token uh, for different uh, uses or needs. And then uh, generate your token and copy. Uh, you can copy the token and drop it somewhere where it will be stumbled over. Okay, so uh, you can go through how a, a attackers stumble over the canary tokens and the production usage if you want to. I'm just going to stop right over there and you can go through the examples. It gives you some sort of uh, social engineering examples as to how you can trick the attacker into, you know, uh, you know, clicking on them or executing them, or essentially tripping them. And you can go through all of this. All right. So let's go back to canarytokens.org and generate. All right. So uh, let's say, let's have, uh, let's say uh, I want to secure my computer. I'm a little bit paranoid and uh, I, I want to essentially have some uh, canary tokens in some very important files and directories that attackers may try and target, like my download folder, uh, like my, uh, you know, my personal folders in my documents, uh, etc. All that good stuff. And furthermore, in your cloud storage system, because imagine how awesome that would be. All right. So it's going to tell you to select your token. So you click on select your token and uh, you can now select a web bug or a URL token, which essentially will alert you when a URL is visited. This is not really important because hackers are not going to start visiting websites from the attack machine. You then have a DNS token, advanced for network users, essentially, you know, uh, trying to log what sites or, or when a specific site is visited. Uh, so very, very good for tracking users on a network. Not that I encourage any of my friends out there who are network administration administrators. I know many of them put uh, or actually log, uh, you know, some of the uh, the different uh, questionable websites, you know, not safe for work websites. Uh, and they alerted when those sites are visited. So yeah, uh, that's, you know, now a privacy issue. Uh, a unique email address when an email is sent to that address. So let's say you want to know when, uh, when you're receiving mail on that specific address, a good notification there and, uh, custom image web bug. So, uh, an essentially an alert will be sent, uh, when an image you've uploaded is viewed. Yeah, pretty cool. Uh, uh, and finally, my favorite where we have your Microsoft Word documents. You'll get alerted when a document is opened in Microsoft Word, uh, the Adobe Reader PDF document. Get alerted when a PDF document is opened and you have your Windows folders, a custom EXE binary. Uh, so essentially you can create a simple program like, uh, you know, name it something interesting, a cloned website, uh, you know, 
when your website is cloned, uh, when your, um, um, your SQL databases are, um, are accessed, your QR code, all of these different uh, alerts can be created for different scenarios. Now, in my case, these are the three that I focus on. Uh, the Word document, the PDF document, and the Windows folder. This is personally what I use. All right, so let's say I want to uh, generate a Microsoft Word document. All right, I'm just going to click on it there. And now it's going to tell me to provide an email address or a webhook URL. All right, to where you want to send the uh, notifications to. In my case, I already have created a separate Gmail that I use for all my Canary notifications. And it's probably blurred, of course, for my privacy. And uh, then it's going to ask you to essentially enter a reminder note when the token is triggered. So you can enter a note uh, that, you know, gives a brief description about the token. Uh, so I'm going to I'm going to be placing this token on my desktop so I can say uh, your uh, uh, I can just say usually what I do is I say the following uh, location has been breached. And, uh, you know, I can say, for example, C, uh, oops, sorry, C, uh, users, and uh, we'll say Alexis, and I'm going to say my desktop, all right? So essentially notifying me where the attacker has clicked on or where the attacker has got or, or tripped the Canary token, all right? So I'm going to create my Canary token, and within a few seconds, it's going to say your Microsoft Word token is active, so you can download it, and uh, it will give you information here. So you'll get an alert whenever the document is open in Microsoft Office or on Windows or Mac OS. You can rename the document without affecting its operation. Fantastic. Uh, and it'll give you ideas for using it. So you can drop this file on uh, Windows Network Share to see uh, whether, you know, people are snooping around. You can leave the file on a web server to detect web, web server breaches. Invaluable. This is extremely invaluable. For those of you, again, working on websites, this stuff can save a lot of it, this. This will just this, this hands down a game changer. But of course, many people don't know about it. Uh, and you can attach it to an email uh, with a tempting subject line. Essentially, uh, for all you black hats out there, not that I do condone it, but uh, yeah, you get the idea. So I'm going to download the Microsoft Word file, and it's going to be uh, named very, very weirdly, and it's going to be a, a document uh, file right over here, and uh, quite small, 15.3 kilobit, uh, kilobytes. So yeah, quite interesting. And I'm going to hit Save File. Now, of course, I'm just going to blur out my Downloads folder here. Um, so I'm just going to cut this and I'm going to go to my desktop. All right. And I'm going to paste it on my desktop. Right. So, uh, this is my Canary token. Very, very cool. Now, the first thing I'll do is I'll change it to something a hacker might want to click on. Hmm. Let's see. Hmm. Uh, I can just say my passwords and this I've seen people actually doing not, uh, you know, not people in the cybersecurity world. But, uh, you know, people like uh, you, office executives and, uh, pe you know, like um, receptionists, etc. Right. So I'll just call it my passwords or I can just say um, we'll call it what uh, usually I've seen even sys admins doing this sometimes uh, or some engineers. So FTP passwords or stuff like that is interesting stuff for the attacker. So I'll just hit enter and we'll, we've renamed it. And as you know, this will not affect um, the operation of the Canary token. All right. So what's going to happen is once the attacker clicks on it and opens it with Microsoft Word, uh, it is going to launch or trip the Canary token and a notification will be sent to the email, mobile, mobile, uh, mobile number, whatever you chose, uh, you know, to be notified on and you'll get the notification alerting you, uh, alerting you of a breach. And, you know, from then on, you know what to do. You can take immediate action. Okay, so I'm just going to open back, uh, I'm just going to open up my browser and I'm going to go to Google here and I'm just going to log into the uh, email address that I usually store uh, or I use for Canary Token. So I'm just going to open up Gmail here and uh, we'll give that a few seconds to load up and as you can see it's empty because I set it up for this sole purpose. And uh, yeah, let's get started. So I'm just going to launch the, uh, uh, the Canary Token here. And just uh, like clockwork, it is going to open or prompt up uh, Microsoft Office um, Word more specifically and uh, give that a few seconds to open. And uh, yeah, the uh, Microsoft Office gives uh, the uh, the whole idea of a protected view. Just hit enable editing. And of course, this uh, is you do not hit you, you do not need to hit enable editing as long as the file is executed and launched. The notification should be sent to you. So I'm just going to go back to my email. 
and uh, we will now wait uh, for the notification to be sent. So I'm just going to refresh and there we are. You can see the Canary Token mailer sent you a uh, uh, notification and it's going to tell you uh, Canary Token triggered alert. An HTTP Canary Token has been triggered by the source IP. I'm going to be covering that IP. That is not my real IP. I'm using a VPN right now. And uh, that's awesome because now you know uh, the IP of the, uh, the 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 hacker or the bad man that's in your system. Uh, it's going to tell you the channel, the time that the breach occurred or when they clicked on it rather, the canary token, the token reminder. So again, this is awesome. The following location has been breached. Uh, users, Alexis, desktop uh, and of course the type of token, Microsoft Word and the user agent. Awesome. All right. And uh, there you are. Well. Fantastic, right? Now, of course, I'm not really doing it justice as to how this can really change, uh, you know, the, the way you, you think about security, especially for, for those of you who, you know, who are really in this right now and you're trying to secure your network as best as possible. So this can work on a web server, as it mentioned. It can work on a network share. It can work, you know, just on your SIM, on your normal computer, on your desktop. If you're worried about being breached, you can put it on your cloud storage. That's where I, uh, I also recommend putting it. For those of you worried, you know, if your cloud uh, storage is being accessed by some really, really, uh, you know, uh, really, really, uh, w w what would I call it? Uh, well, many people have raised concerns that they think employees of the cloud storage, uh, you know, providers usually like snooping around the files. Uh, well, there you go, right? So now you know wh whether people are actually, you know, uh, are breaching into your system. And of course, you get more information about the attacker. You can get the IP. Uh, and obviously, you get an idea of where the breach occurred uh, and a lot more about, uh, about how the breach uh, happened. Because once you are notified about it, you know, you pretty much know what to do. Um, that being said, as I said, uh, let me, let me know how you guys apply to your systems. I would, I would love to, to hear about your, your different security protocols that you have created. And I would love to see the implement, implementation. So, uh, again, that's going to be it for this video. A little bit of a different type of video, you know, for those of you in, in the defensive side of, uh, cybersecurity. I uh, hope you found value in it, uh, in this video. If you did, please leave a like down below. If you have any questions or suggestions, let me know in the comment section on my social networks or on my website and I'll be sure to uh, leave a, a reply to you or to answer your question and I'll be seeing you in the next video. Peace guys.